What's up guys? Alright, so today I wanted to take a second to uh, show you the ins and outs of one of my favorite little pieces of gear. Uh, this is a tool that I always have on me when I'm shooting, uh, taking classes, training, any of that. Um, I definitely always have this on me. It's always uh, proven itself super useful and uh, so I wanted to uh, take some time to show you what's up. Anyway, um, so what we have here to uh, let it out of the box, so to speak, the Leatherman Mutt. This thing is absolutely awesome. Uh, you know, I, I kiddingly call it the shooter's best friend, but seriously, this thing uh, has so many uses. So let's get into it. First of all, um, on a side note, the sheet that comes with this thing is also pretty awesome. Um, it's basically a uh, fairly durable, uh, sturdy material. Um, it has a fixed um, molly strap with uh, four rows of pals, uh, so you can pretty much mount this any way you want. Uh, snap closure for a secure um, holding. And then on the front, it's got a military grade Velcro, quite a bit actually, uh, this whole section um, to, for closure. And then uh, grommet at the bottom. So this thing's pretty nice. Uh, as a uh, add-on to the actual tool itself. So, anyway, uh, let's get into what this thing features. Uh, basically, uh, the <clears throat> construction of this thing, it's all uh, stainless steel, um, both the handles and the tools. Um, the, um, the blades accessible, both blades are accessible from the exterior. They have these nice thumb holes for opening. Um, and they're fairly substantial size for a, a multi-tool um, for a multi-tool setup. So anyway, um, these blades are about three, three and a half inches. Uh, this is a combo blade, uh, and I'm not sure if I mentioned, but it's 420 HC stainless steel. Um, nice liner lock keeps it open, uh, so no worries uh, when you're using it that it's going to snap shut. Um, on this side. You've got a fairly substantial um, length saw, and uh, the the uh, the Leatherman saws are freaking sharp. The way that they're um, you know sharpened is insane. These things will cut through anything, so uh, definitely handy to have. Um, moving on um, over here, you can see the uh, basic bronze carbon removal tool. Uh, you know, I've busted this thing out so many times when I'm cleaning my uh, AR, it's just nuts. Um, the shape of this tool lends itself perfectly to getting into the bolt carrier group uh, to get the carbon out from inside where the bolt rides. And, uh, you know, it's got the perfect amount of sharpness, but with the bronze finish, it definitely won't mar uh, your bolt or bolt carrier. So it's a super... Um, handy tool to have on this on this uh, rig here. On this side, you've got a um, firearm disassembly tool, uh, basically like a pin punch um, that fits uh, most standard size. I think it's like a one eighth uh, pin punch, and then uh, it's removable. All these exterior tools, by the way, are replaceable, removable, replaceable. Um, you can see the Torx bit heads um, everywhere, but this will screw off. And then you've got uh, the male side that you can um, insert and screw into uh, the female side of cleaning rods or tools that you might use um, that aren't on this. So that's handy. Um, here you've got, what is this, titanium, um, I think it's titanium, yeah, titanium pocket clip here. Um, You've got a nice uh, spring-loaded carabiner style clip for uh, you know attaching this like to a belt loop or something if you need to. Um, here you've got a little locking system so if you aren't using the sheath and you attach it to your belt you can click this shut and lock the tool closed so it doesn't uh, flip open while you're uh, running it. Um, and then here you've got a removable rescue cutter for seat belts or whatever you might need um, and the blade can be replaced. Here you've got a, um, a bit driver that's locking, so um, in its standard uh, position this bit won't come out, but then if you need to, to uh, change bits you just give it a little squeeze 
and these bits come right out. Um, it does it only comes with this bit with a standard and a uh, Phillips screwdriver but uh, Leatherman sells other bit kits that you can buy separately that have tons of different hex torques and uh, Phillips and screwdriver sizes so uh, along with that this can be extremely handy I've used it a million times in classes on optics uh, guns gear um, it just has tons of uses um, here you've got an external um, Phillips and uh, flathead screwdriver bit that slides out and then on the other side you've got a Torx and hex bit um, that are um, <clears throat> standard sizing for adjusting optics so um, that's handy um, and then on the bottom here this flat textured surface is uh, basically an edge to use as a handheld hammer you can grab it like this and then a uh, hammer like that so uh, that comes in handy um, now Opening this uh, tool up, you'll see a couple more things. First of all, down here, you've got crimpers for crimping uh, wire connections. Um, here, the main um, jaws of the pliers serve four main functions. Um, there's needle nose pliers here, standard pliers here, and then these cutters are replaceable, removable, replaceable and they're both hard and soft wire cutters there. Also, um, here you've got threaded eye, um, basic holes that you can add uh, different size cleaning rods to as well. Now, um, here you can see the metal has a nice roll to it on the, the uh, surfaces where the, that your hand is gonna grip onto on all sides these edges are kind of nicely rolled so that uh, it's not hard to get a substantial grip on it um, without uh, you know getting some pain from metal digging into your fingers like so much of the cheaper tools um, all in all uh, oh basically uh, the other thing is this is the black oxide coated model there's also the um, the stainless model which has uh, the stainless knife blades, um, you know, stainless finish. Uh, th these are stainless, but they're coated with the black oxide. So, um, and you know, as far as use, I've used it pretty, uh, you know, often, and the, the coating hasn't really come off too much. So that's a, a good indication of the quality of the coating. All in all, um, this is just you know one of those things I just don't leave home without when it comes to shooting. And, um, you know, anybody who is into shooting or any kind of, you know, rescue or uh, survival type uh, situations on a regular basis, I could not recommend this more. Uh, this thing is just absolutely awesome. Like all multi-tools, super useful, but especially uh, this one caters to military, law enforcement, and civilian shooters. So, anyway, um, you know, I definitely recommend this to any of my friends. So anyway, um, that's about it. If you have any questions or comments on uh, the Leatherman Mutt, don't hesitate to leave them below. Um, definitely, uh, you know, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you're not subbed, uh, sub up. I put these videos out all the time. I'm always getting uh, new, exciting gear. And, uh, you know, I love sharing this stuff, uh, you know, paying awesome products forward so other people can enjoy the same stuff I do. So anyway, um, I hope you guys have a good uh, afternoon and uh, stay tuned for more stuff in the near future. Till next time, take it easy.